Hello, this is Tic Tac. In this video, I will show you how to uh, make the autopilot in the Airbus A320neo uh, follow your flight plan. So it will do uh, all the turns automatically and it will go from waypoint to waypoint. So right now I'm setting up my flight plan and you can learn how to do this in another of my videos. So now let's uh, get into our cockpit and uh, start learning. So now we're in the cockpit of our Airbus A320neo and uh, after we first fly on the flight plan page then we've got our uh, flight plan loaded in over here as you can see there's a green line over here and in here we've got our flight plan and you can see all the uh, waypoints as we scroll down here. So um, First of all, we use how to, uh, we'll learn how to uh, use this display over here. So you've got two uh, knobs over here. You've got uh, a range knob, which zooms the map in and out. And then we've got this uh, mode, which uh, plan mode. So if you uh, scroll on the uh, on here, then uh, it shows you all the waypoints on your map. And then you've got this mode, which has your uh, plane in the middle, and you've got uh, uh, nav mode, which is in the center of the display, and then you have uh, VOR mode, and then uh, ILS mode. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, arc mode, you can use nav mode if you prefer to have it in the center than in the middle at the bottom, and then if you want your... Uh, uh, altitudes, then uh, you press CSTR, and then you have your uh, altitudes uh, shown here on the pink uh, numbers. Now, the next thing we'll do is uh, set our minimum climb altitude. I'm going to set it to uh, let's go for a thousand uh, feet, and then uh, heading will be a managed heading, and then speed I'm going to initially set it to uh, 250 knots uh, during climb. So I'm going to set that, and uh, then that's, uh, I'm going to set down one, and then that's done, and now we're ready off for takeoff. So I'm going to turn my handbrake off, and now uh, enable VJoy, and now we're ready for takeoff. So uh, I'm going to uh, accelerate my engines now to uh, toga mode. As you can see on the display over here, and just start going down the runway. Now, each uh, rotate speed and uh, V2. Keep a positive break, give up, and then let's go flaps up. Now I'll engage uh, selected airspeed mode and enable autopilot. Make sure I've got managed heading and managed altitude. And now I can turn off toga mode and put it into uh, CL mode. And now our engines should slow down. Now we should adjust. Now, as you can see, uh, the numbers here are pink, and this is using altitude from our waypoints to uh, climb according to that and you need to make sure that you've set the minimum altitude because if I set it for example to 2000 it will uh, start uh, climbing to 2000 as you can see it's blue and then uh, after it's climbed to 2000 it will start using the uh, waypoint so this sets the minimum altitude that uh, the plane needs to be at to use the uh, waypoint altitudes and now we can just continue climbing and as you can see the plane will follow the path created uh, here uh, so it will start turning and then continuing on this line climbing at the altitudes shown by the uh, waypoints so now we're going to reach uh, 2000 and now we're going up to 2500 According to this waypoint now, we've switched over, and it will just keep climbing according to the waypoints. 
And then the same goes for uh, later when it will be descending, it will uh, descend according to the royal waypoints as well. And you need to keep in mind to set the uh, minimum altitude uh, that you want it to descend to. Because if you forget to change it, it won't descend according to the waypoints to a lower bit. So now I can just continue flying and it will climb and descend automatically. This video is sponsored by Incredible Maths. Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths. It has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now let's get back to the video. And now it's changed to 3900. We can zoom out to see more of the maps. So as you can see, it goes 3,900, then 7,950, uh, 11,150, and then keeps climbing. And our pl plane is just keep going over to Amsterdam as I created my flight plan. And now we're going up to uh, 8,000, so like what it says on the next waypoint, let's just round it up because it doesn't keep that accuracy. So it's up to the nearest uh, 100 feet. And we're going to continue climbing until we reach our cruise altitude. And as you can see, I don't have to do anything, it just does it itself. I can just enjoy the views, but there's no views today because. It's a bit cloudy today and I'm using uh, live weather. If we want to zoom out more, we can use it and as you can see, we can see our routes. And then up to our approach and then ILS, I'll do a tutorial on how to do a ILS as well, so you can watch that if you want to. So we're uh, approaching 8,000 feet now. And soon we'll be then doing a left turn uh, to our next waypoint, and then the right turn, and then we'll be flying over to Amsterdam. And now we've changed the waypoints onto the next one, and our plane will start climbing now to. Uh, uh, 11,200 feet and as soon as we pass uh, 10,000 feet then we can uh, accelerate our autopilot because we'll be over uh, the speed limit because as it says here uh, 250 knots or less below 10,000 and then we can accelerate soon uh, now we're at 9,000 And now we're going to pass 10,000. So I'll bring our speed up to uh, let's go 340 knots now. And change our pressure to standard. And now we're going to arrive soon at our next waypoint. And then we're going to do a turn right, and we don't have to do anything, it's just our autopilot doing it for us. So you've got 5.5 nautical miles left. You can see uh, the distance to the white point here. And now we've changed onto our next waypoint and we're going to continue the climb. I'll put the speed up to 350 knots. And now it's switched again. And as you can see we'll just continue like this. 
until we get to our descent. And uh, what you have to watch out for as well, that if the next waypoint does not have an a altitude for it, you need to uh, select the uh, altitude using this and then press uh, the manage altitude mode because um, it will go down to uh, the one you've set here. As you can see, the next waypoint does not have an altitude, so you need to keep an eye on that uh, and make sure that's correct. And then it starts climbing to that cruise altitude that you've chosen. So, um, as you can see right now, uh, we're uh, just passing our last waypoint with no altitude set, and the next one, uh, Sunut, uh, has uh, uh, 12,350 feet and then we can start our descent. So, now as soon as we uh, start past this waypoint, it will go over to uh, Salute, and then we can start our descent. So, uh, now we're going to cross it soon. And I'm going to start uh, decreasing altitude. So let's put it down to uh, 10,000. And we'll put it on our oh, switch waypoints, and now we're going down to uh, flight level 124 so that will uh, descend automatically and I can set this minimum so I'll set it down uh, just if I can put it higher and this sets our minimum altitude so it, if it's at 14,000 and even if Salute says uh, flight level uh, 124 then uh, it won't go that because this one's blue and it's higher. So if I wanted to continue, then I could put it down to something like 2000 and then engage uh, manage altitude mode by pressing the up, up arrow and this puts flight level 124 clear. So now we can just continue our descent. So I might as well put our speed up for it to be a bit quicker. And we'll continue our descent towards uh, Amsterdam. Okay, it's descending very steeply. Uh, and now uh, we'll stop. So you can use uh, open descent like uh, what I'm using right now, uh, or you can use the vertical speed one. You could use it. Yeah, you can choose between which one you want, so if you want this one, it will uh, just have a, a constant uh, vertical speed, or if you're using uh, the manage descent, then it will just uh, descend according to the speed, so like the open descent version. So now we'll just continue our descent. Uh, until we get towards uh, our approach uh, uh, and then we'll uh, be landing. So now we're reaching flight level 124 and we'll be at uh, salutes soon. I'll just increase our speed a bit so it's quicker. So we're just about to uh, pass Salute, and we're going to Sugols. As we can see on the map here. So now we're on to uh, Sugol, which is uh, uh, 10,000 feet. So we're going down to flight level uh, 100. And we'll be uh, descending. So I could maybe reduce my speed a bit for our descent.
and if you're using uh, the the set without the vertical speed, you have to be careful. Um, so the plane might just start climbing. So you need to watch out for that. So reduce your speed gradually. Don't do it too quickly. So I'll give it step by step. So I'm going to the and I'll put the zoom on a bit closer. And now we can go then to uh, 250. And now we can reduce the speed again. So let's go to 210. And we need to remember that below uh, 10,000 feet, we need to um, be below 250 knots, and I'll switch back to uh, the barometric measure, measure, and then put the correct pressure in. And as soon as we uh, pass to go, then we'll start descending again. Also, uh, Turbulence over here. I'm using live weather in this video. So, as we can see, it's uh, a bit cloudy today. I'll increase the display button like this. And soon we'll, we will be uh, passing to go. And then we will uh, continue our descents. So the waypoints have switched now, and I'll just continue our descent towards the airport. And then I'll uh, either do a visual approach or an instrument approach, so you can choose. And if you want to do a, a ILS. Uh, uh, approach then I'll have a video on how to do that so you can check it out so I hope you enjoy this video about how to uh, use the flight plan in the Airbus A320 Neo uh, if you did and if it was helpful please press the like button and subscribe for more videos and if you have any ideas for what videos I could make in the future then please put them down in the comments below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time